Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today I'm gonna show you one of the coolest FPV products that came out this year. And this is the Flywoo Wide Camera Lens for the DJI O4 Lite. And this does what DJI could not. In fact, there is a lot to like about the little DJI O4 unit. It's a 4K 60 little camera that only weighs 8 grams and it's perfect for tiny drones. But many, many pilots have complained about the limited field of view of this camera at only 117 degrees. The image feels quite zoomed in and uh, it's flyable, but when you switch to a wider field of view, you feel much better, you see more obstacles and it's much more enjoyable to fly. And Flywo already tried coming to the rescue earlier this year by creating this 3D printed wide camera lens adapter that slides on the Flywo mount for the O4 Lite just goes like this and gives you 155 degrees of FOV. And I made a review about this accessory a couple months back and I found that it was working phenomenally. Having the wider field of view was incredible, but introduced a couple of issues. First of all, when you watch the image in 4 by 3 aspect ratio, you can see the edges of the camera lens. And when you stabilize, depending on what the drone does, the image can go down to that corner and show a little bit of black border. Also, when you're facing the sun, you can get some light streaks because you have a few lenses stacked on top of each other. And also it kind of looked like a DIY project rather than a product. And so today we're gonna take a look at the updated version of this product because they claim to have fixed all the issues and probably this is the way this camera should have came out from the DJI factory. Boom! This is not just the wide-angle lens, but it's the entire DJI O4 Lite camera you have to replace on your drone. You can also buy the DIY kit only and do it yourself, but it's a little bit harder process because you have to detach the main board with the sensor and re-glue it into this, adjust the focus. It's a little bit harder project. In the box you also get an adapter. This slots at the back of the camera so you can attach the MIPI cable. And it's just like the one on the original DJI O4 Lite. You also get the screws for the camera mount and two injection molded camera mounts. This one has the pattern for the O3, the O4 and this one has the pattern for the analog. So you can mount this camera into every drone you want. You just need to add the little screws to connect the two parts together. I'm gonna test this camera with the Flywoo Firefly 18. They even made a modified mount to host it. And I believe most drones coming from Flywoo will use this new lens and camera. And Flywoo also made ND filters and camera lens protectors. They will be pretty easy to slot in. Boom. I'm gonna fly twice because I need to test the stabilization with this new lens. First, I'm gonna use 16x9 rock steady so we can see how it works with the internal stabilization. And then I'm gonna record 4x3 aspect ratio, no stabilization, and apply gyro flow later. Okay, first thing first, I see a camera calibration error, which is not very reassuring. <laughs> this is a Flywoo's camera. I just attached to my old O4 light system. <laughs> this drone is so light, I forgot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it stopped recording when I crashed, so I have to fly again. I tried going into the DJI Assistant and fixing the calibration issue. Maybe it's fixed now because it asked me to recalibrate the camera with the VTX. Okay, it didn't fix the calibration camera issue. I guess uh, you have to keep it there. I even updated the firmware, but nothing to do. If you change the camera with the VTX and uh, they are not paired from the factory, you get this error, but it shouldn't compromise anything on your, uh, on your system. So maybe the DIY way it's even better because uh, you keep the camera with the VTX paired and you don't get this message. I took a peek at the video I recorded earlier and it seems uh, fine, nicely stabilized. I didn't remember the O4 light looking this bad, but I never use Rocksteady, so I can't wait to use uh, Gyroflow later. Just because it's a lot less zoomed in. I'm not used to the 16x9, and even with this wide angle lens, the image seems very zoomed in to me, even if we are at uh, 155 degrees 
of, of few of the FOB. Okay, with a charged battery, flies much better. This little drone, it's super nice, I love it. Because you forget you're flying a 1S 20 gram drone, wow. I have been using a 5 inch all day today because I was testing uh, the um, end blade max. So I'm kind of not used to this uh, tiny whoop. And now let's fly 4x3 gyroflow. Okay, looks a lot better like this. It seems like the field of view you get from the O4 Pro and it's Wow, now I can say it's wide, it looks much better. So I advise not running the rock steady stabilization, at, not, at least not in 16 by 9. That's why people complain a lot about this camera, because they run maybe the stabilization with, uh, without this mod. So with the stock field of view and the stabilization, the, the image looks horrible. This is uh, very nice. You can see we don't get uh, uh, haze or effect. It has a nice sun streak, a nice uh, uh, lens flare. So I like it a lot. And they made this camera a lot better this way. It's usable, you see a lot more when you do maneuvers. And the 4x3 aspect ratio, I like it more because when you do maneuvers, you see more or, of what you have coming up and you can adjust better for it especially when you are upside down having the top view it's uh, it's amazing wow this is a 1s drone doing this the, the capabilities of the four light are incredible because you cannot really fly like this with analog and have this uh, super crisp image especially running uh, behind obstacles like this. Okay, now my question is, do we have a chicken around? Because, uh, aha, this seems to be like the perfect candidate for some chicken chasing. Yes. Oh! The battery starts to be a little bit lower voltage. On 1S you feel it a lot because uh, you lose power when the battery starts to be depleted. It's time for the chicken to go home anyways, and uh, they don't sleep here anymore, they sleep on the other side. I'm gonna demonstrate with this chi- Come on, why, why are you running? You are supposed to go home, come on. No. Okay, maybe this one is gonna go home. Yes, 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 use the ramp. Use the ramp. Come on! <laughs> but anyway, they have a hole above the ramp to go into the winter chicken coop because it's a little bit uh, less exposed to the elements and they are uh, warmer there. <laughs> but I couldn't demonstrate that. I'm salty. This drone is incredibly silent as well. I am uh, liking the drone and now that I know it comes with this new lens, it makes a ton more sense. And I even made a rhyme here. Boom. I just tried stabilizing in gyroflow and it's very, very smooth. So the camera calibration error is not an issue. It's just a little red thing you're gonna have there. The problem is you can see a little bit of image warping when the drone is moving a lot. And that's because we are using a different lens than what it came from the factory. But Flywoo thought about this as well and uploaded to Gyroflow the correct camera calibration profile. So you can just look it up, apply it and the image will look perfect. And it finally looks like a little O4 Pro. And I feel like this is how the camera should have come out from the DJI factory, but at least now we have a very easy solution. Flywoo offers many different options for this kit and they are all pretty affordable. You can get the DIY kit for around 16 bucks, so it's very easy to modify your pre-existing cameras and you will not have the camera calibration error. You can buy for around 30 bucks the whole O4 camera, which is incredible, and you will have the little calibration error maybe i am bugged you should be able to remove it using dji assistant and also at the price of basically the whole dji o4 light 
you can get the one modified by Flywoo. So there is a lot, a lot to like about this kit. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this wide-angle camera. And also, let me know if you think they solved all the issues the previous version had. If you want to buy something, check out the links in the description below because clicking on them, you help my channel a lot and many times you also find discounts. Thank you so much, stay safe and happy flying. Bye!